Y'all know what day it is. It's a beautiful, wet, rainy, nasty Thursday, but it's Mac Tools Day. Let's do it. How you like it's liquid sunshine? We need it. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Well, I'm glad to be home from Vegas. I bet. Vegas is fun, but after about 48 hours, I'm ready to go home. It's expensive. That's for sure. Not like gambling expensive. I'm talking about just like... Anything you anything. want to do. Beers is $10 a bottle. The... Uh, Food was expensive, we, but uh, it was fun. I think I've been out there. I was out there for a weekend one weekend, me and my brother. And then my wife and I spent a week out there. Went out on 4th of July, week week of 4th, the 4th of July, and went to a Garth concert. So I saw Garth on the 4th in Vegas. It was pretty fun. <laughs> They some interesting characters out there, ain't they? That's an understatement. <laughs> I'll share a couple pictures in here to show you. Uh, it's definitely a different world out there than what we live in here, for sure. Absolutely. Which now we was out there for Halloween night, so it was oh, even can... a little extraordinary. But some of the women that walk up and down that strip wearing nothing but stickers. Pretty much. <laughs> That was a sight to see right there. That's definitely not a place you want to go with children at all. No, not at all. And I have come to figure out that everybody out there smokes marijuana. Like the whole entire... They'll walk up and down the street smoking, that's what they smoking was doing. away. Like it blows my mind because here, like, you know, that's you can't even buy it. Here, it's legal out there, right? Well, they had people bringing it to the motel in a delivery car that was like a marijuana leaf. And they'd just park in the front of the motel and meet the people and and then they'd be walking up and down the street. I'm like, oh my Here's God. your hamburger. <laughs> this is yeah. crazy, man. It's like, they don't call it Sin City for no reason. Yeah. I'll put it that way. But it's cool to visit. There's no way in hell I'd want to live there. Of course, my son, you know, he's stationed out there in the Air Force, so we get to hang out with him. And, uh, we couldn't understand why he didn't like it out there. Of course, he was raised here, you know. Right. He was like, this is a dirty place. I don't like it. You know, he just kept, that's all he'd really say. Yeah. I say, why now? Especially so. when you're from the South, you know. I mean, that's just, that's another world out there. It's, it's a different thing, that's for sure. So. Well, I say you got some socks up here. Yeah, yeah, they're scattered around. Mac socks. Christmas, around the corner, believe that's it or not. It. You know, what are we, eight weeks? Something like that? Close. Well, how's the Oliver boots? I know nobody can get red back. So <clears throat> I'll tell them. you now, they're not a red back. Okay. But from what I've seen, as many as I've sold, they're doing good. Are they as comfortable as a red back? I'd say close. Um,. I have some say that they're just as comfortable, and I have some say that they're okay. You know, they said they're not a redback, but I yeah. mean, I guess if you can't they get don't a redback, what a redback cost either. Yeah, that's but you true. Can't, if you can't get them, you can't get them. That's true. Well, what cool new fun stuff? I got stuff a new kid got. in behind you there. Last one I got left, I got about six of them in there, are blown out of here. Cool. It's one of the flyer deals this go around. That's about the only thing I got left in the flyer. Uh, Man, that's so weird to see them bundle this in a kit with I DeWalt. Know. I know. <laughs> like they either need to make DeWalt Power Tools yellow too, or just go ahead and change our uh, DeWalt red and matte yellow something. It looks weird. But they went together on this deal, and it's all in one. You get your screw gun, a work light, the impact, the five and the three amp oil resistant batteries, and the drill. Cool. 
it's all on a thing together. I know, that is a bad little dude right there. Man, that's a good little impact. I like how little it is. Uh-huh. Because when you first pick that thing up, especially before you put the battery on it, you're like, it's like a toy. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, literally, it feels like a little kid's toy. It don't weigh nothing. Being a little plastic set at Christmas, mm -hmm. you know. And then when you use it, you're like, whew. But I mean, it's just like, that's the half one. But Yeah. I mean, you'd Very never you never think that it would have the power they do. Them some bad little boogers, man. Now, those new 3.8s, I've probably sold 10 or 12, well, more than that now. Yeah. Um, at the time, I'd sold 10 or 12 whenever I first had this issue. One guy had one. He said, man, he said, I don't know what's going on. He said, one day, he said, it'll break a lug nut off. He said, the next day, he said, it won't break a 10 millimeter boat loose. Hey. He said, it just depends on which way you pick it up, I guess, you know. <laughs> I said, well, I said, let me send that thing back and, yeah. and get it fixed for you. And it come Son, back. That mine has been about just impressive. Two, three weeks later, and he said, man, he said, I ain't had a missed troll. He said, that's one of my favorite guns. He said, yeah. I don't even pick up my half inch gun 90% of the time. That little thing's stout, man. Like, it'll surprise you. On that half inch gun, if somebody wanted to, and I guess if you had big enough sockets for a 3 8 drive, it'd be fine. But around the house, that's all a fella needs. Mm -hmm. I mean, because the F-250 lug nut don't torque, but what, at 185, 195, yeah. something like that? Them, that three eighths, I take lug nuts off with it all yeah. the time. It has I mean. zero trouble. Well, we got that old um, <clears throat> trailer that sat back, that gooseneck trailer. It's got a flatbed on it now where we went and picked a flatbed up. But, man, those wheels has been on there so long that the tires is dry rotting. So I actually moved it out and uh, jacked it up. I had that gun in the truck. I was like, I eh, probably ain't going to do this. Shit. Man, it whipped them right off there. I was like, All Without right. spraying anything on the lug nah, nut. I, I said, shit, let's just do it, you know. Let's see what you got. Because I was yeah. expecting to have to walk back in and get my half-inch Milwaukee, and it pulled them all off fine. I was like, hmm. Impressive. Yeah. So, it is what it is. I so ordered you... six more kits of those uh, quarter-inch guns the other day. I can't keep them on here. Yeah, they're bad, dude. Once one person in the shop buys one, mm -hmm. everybody else wants one. Well, did you uh, did you sell out all your RBRT stuff? Uh, I've sold several sets. That little kit that they got, that little plastic box is awesome mm -hmm. with that kit. It is. I, I may have one or two left at the shop. I don't think I have any left on the truck right now. That little box that they use, it reminds me of a Pelican case, yeah. the way it's made. And, man, I like the clear top. I like you it. You look at it, know you're grabbing the right thing if you're in a hurry. You it's know. a very nice little kit. Like, and you can, the whole foam inserts, like all the mm -hmm. other RBRT boxes, you can pull that foam insert out. Yeah. Like if you wanted to put it on a gun bench or something like that, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, people have been very pleased with it because a lot of people already have the ratchet and screwdriver right. or the T-handle or things like that, but they want some good bits or more bits. Mm -hmm. and it's done real well just for the price point of it of not having to get the whole 300 something dollar rbrt kit they can just get that bit set yep that's true so well have you seen the um mechanics time saver swivel ratchet and screwdriver no i'll put it in this video here it on my Instagram yesterday 
dude, it is freaking sweet. You pull the little collet back on it, and it's got like a swivel joint in the middle of the shaft. Well, not really in the middle of the shaft. It's closer to the bottom. So you can actually angle it under stuff. It is freaking awesome. It's got a magnetic bit driver in the end of yeah. it. So you snap your bits in. It holds the bits in the handle. It's a ratchet and screwdriver. But it bends. Yeah, it's got a swivel joint in it. That's nice. cool. It's awesome. <laughs> it's I mean, really you know, how many times awesome. you needed something like that, you know? Yeah, like, man, and it comes with a little quarter inch drive adapter. So, so like, you I'm could thinking. put a socket on it. Coil packs that's up under a firewall. Man, toss an eight or a 10 on that joker and reach up around there and ratchet it right out. That's yeah. Great idea. So, you need to stock them. They'll do good. I'll those have cool. to get a number on those. Really cool. But. So you ain't got nothing else new and cool? Man, stuff's been going out quick because I can get it on here here lately. Yeah. Which is good. I mean, it's like pulling teeth to get stuff, but it's getting better. Yeah. You know. Hopefully everything will get back to normal soon and life will be grand. Yeah, because it can't get much worse. <laughs> no. Like, I think you're the only tool truck that's got stream lights on it. Really? Everybody else is like, man, I can't get stream lights. I hadn't had any issues. I had a bunch of stuff come in the other day. It had been on order for probably a month, but it literally took a month from the time it shipped and left out of their warehouse for me to get it. Mm -hmm. Somewhere got lost with FedEx, but it showed up the other day. Well, I'm mad. I had like uh, six with the big waypoint spotlights come in yeah. and all that come in last night. I got to get it all put on here this weekend. Well, at the SEMA show, I met a company. Um, the guy that owns it is Jake Merritt. And his kids work for him. It's called Merrick Tools. And he invented lug nut sockets, and they're called cam lock sockets. And I've I seen you a, post some of that stuff. I did a video on those. Those are freaking awesome. Like swelled up lug nuts, that's what they're designed for. Uh, rounded off lug nuts. But the cam actually grips the flat side of the, the fastener. And then when you get it off, of course, the pressure's off of it, and you just pull the swelled up lug nuts and stuff out. They're amazing. Like, really. I wish I would have got like that. The, the, the flat side of part of it's kind of like the RBRT idea of things yeah, with the yeah. way they made their bits. But yeah. Mm -hmm. But they come in a three piece set. They're all American made. And uh, I wish I'd actually got to their booth earlier because I got there right at the closing time and they done put up their display stuff. But it was really cool. I'll put a card at the top now where you guys can check that video out if you haven't seen it because those are, they're going to change the game when it comes to lug nut sockets for sure. They're, that was the coolest product that I've seen at the whole entire SEMA show. Well, lug nut sockets are definitely, there's room for improvement out there for sure. Well, I think it falls back on the manufacturer. They save money by sticking those stupid chrome covers on them. Instead of just getting good lug nuts. Exactly. <laughs> like that's the whole point. Right there, um, so. I mean, when you have to start buying half size lug nut, mm -hmm. a half size lug socket. Yep. Because, because they swell the, up. Sw the, the corrosion and the swelling of it, mm -hmm. you know, you put an aluminum cover over a steel socket, I mean, steel lug nut, I mean, what, what do you expect? Exactly right. Anything to save a dollar, right? I mean, it's once a week somebody come here. Do you have half size sockets for some lug nuts? You know, there's probably an engineer said, Hey, we can put these cheap ass chrome covers on there. It'll save us five dollars a vehicle, but it'll cost every mechanic in America that wants to do it a couple million dollars. We're just boosting the economy. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, whatever, right? So, and you'd never think, you know, well, let me just see if somebody's got a half size socket. Well, mm -hmm. they do. There's <laughs> it. Yeah. And really and truly. I think if you start with a half size socket, it, uh, the lug nuts will hold up better. Yeah. Because really it's sized for the nut that's under it, not mm -hmm. with the cover. So. I think a lot of problem too, people want to use standard Instead on metric, metric. And then they want to use metric on the standard because it is what it is, right? Like if it fits on there, guys like, that's got to be it. Yeah. And there ain't much difference in them, but sometimes that's enough to Booger cause one. some issues. But it is what it is. Well, how's the pressure washer selling? Sold out of them, had no complaints. Cool. I got 
six in originally, I think, and I've sold all six and no complaint. I've thought about buying one of those, especially for like duck camp. Yeah. That way you ain't got to crank a pressure washer and all that, man, and blow your waders off. A bucket of water. Side by side seats. Yep. You could probably take that joker to the blind, just drop the holes, because we park and our, you know, the it's still in the water, right? Mm -hmm. So you could probably just drop the hose. Down yeah, the water. as long as you're not sucking up grass. Let her, know. let her rip, you know. Uh, but everybody seems to like them. I've got cool. more ordered. I got two more sold if I can get them in. There you go. Well, so, who would have ever thought of a battery powered pressure washer? But. <laughs> I know, it's crazy, ain't it? I actually seen a cool rig at the uh, show when I was there. It's for a pressure washer. It's a hose reel. You put it on your wall. You run the line out of the hose reel into your pressure washer. Mount the pressure washer on the wall, and you can pull it out. They had like a 50, a 75, and a 100 foot reel. But you can just reel it out there, wash off your crap, go in there and roll it back up. You don't have to move your pressure washer outside or anything. The worst thing about a pressure washer is rolling, rolling up that, that damn hose. hose. Yep. <laughs> I can't stand it. I mean, it. you might as well just take it loose from the machine and call it up like an extension cord because yep. you aren't going to roll it any other way. Yep. That is true. I thought about buying one of those to put out back back there, you know, because we wash on that back pad. Yeah. Just mount it on the wall and I think it'd do good. But all right, guys, we're finna get in here and get something done today. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check out over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes is right down here. And we just added the 30% off code for the Gear Wrench heated jackets. If you haven't seen them, they're cool. Save you some money and click that subscribe button if you're not already done. See ya.